This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, well, this is the last lecture on uh, dealing with overheads. Uh, and in the last lecture, we went through an example allocating and apportioning overheads, but there was a service department which needed recharging. And as I said at the end, the problem you can have is where there's more than one. Uh, service departments. So look at example six with me, if you will, the last one in this chapter. Here we have four departments. There are two production departments, X and Y. But there are also two service departments or service centres, stores and maintenance. And as I explained before, when we had the canteen, these departments are doing work for the production departments. Now, we've already done, or oh, the question's already done part of the exercise. All the overheads have been allocated and apportioned between the departments. And so the total overheads for production are 70,000 for, um, for X, I beg your pardon. For department Y, 30,000, stores 20, maintenance 15. But just as in example 5 in the last lecture, the service departments, we need to recharge production. And it tells us below the estimated work done by the service centres and the other departments stores they do 50% of the work for X, 30% for Y, and 20% for maintenance. Well, our job is to do this recharging. Uh, now you'll see, um, it says using A, repeated distribution, B, algebraic. There are two ways you can do this. And as you'll see, they both end up giving the same answer. And in the exam, which way you do it is your choice. It's whichever you find the easiest and the fastest. So I will do it both ways, but first of all, I'll do it what we call repeated distribution. Which is effectively exactly what we did in the previous lecture in example uh, five. Let's start recharging. First of all, stores. Stores are 20,000. We'll recharge stores. We'll take that 20,000. And how are we going to charge it? It says stores, they do 50% of the work for X. Well, 50% of 20,000 is 10,000. They do 30% of the work for Y. 30% of 20,000 is 6,000. And they do 20% of their work for maintenance. 20% of 20 is 4,000. And so there we are, we've recharged stores, no problem. We've got this other department, maintenance. Well, the total now in maintenance is 19,000. And so let's recharge the maintenance. Uh, now, does maintenance do the work? They do 45% for X, 45% of 19,000, 8,550, uh, 40% for Y, 7,600, 15% for stores, 2,850. We've now recharged maintenance, but of course we have a problem in that stores has now reappeared. We thought we'd finish with stores, but there's now 2850. And so we need to recharge that 2850. Recharge stores. So take that 2850, how do they do the work? 50% for production. 1425, uh, sorry for X, I beg your pardon. Uh, 40, uh, sorry, 50% for X, 30% for Y. And 
855. Uh, and finally, 20% for maintenance. 570. And you can see what's happening is that although we've now got rid of stores again, maintenance has reappeared, we're going to have to keep recharging. Now it might sound very tedious, in fact, as you'll see, the numbers get small very quickly and, you know, we do things to the nearest dollar. It doesn't actually take too long. Uh, it might be ideal if you had to go yourself to finish it and then put the lecture back on to, to check your workings. But otherwise I'll carry on in that we now recharge the maintenance. 570. Uh, so maintenance to X is 45%, 256.5, well, I, I said earlier, I'm not worried, and don't be worried in the exam about cents, do it to the nearest dollar. Uh, and similarly, Y, 40% or 570 is 228, and to stores, 15%. Well, I rounded the other one up, so I round that one down. 85. Now recharge that 85, the stores. Uh, stores 50% to X. Again, I'll round up to 43. 30% uh, to Y. Uh, 25, which leaves 17 uh, for maintenance. Is that right? Maintenance should be 20%. Yes, it is. Recharge the maintenance. Uh, 45% to X. 7.65, so I'll put 8. 40% uh, to Y. 6.8, so I'll put 7. Uh, which leaves, what was it? Maintenance. 15% to goes to stores. Uh, and finally, recharge stores. Well, as I keep saying, to worry about sense, it will be ludicrous. Uh, I know it should be 50% and 30%. I'll put one to each. And there's the end of it. So we've got rid of uh, stores and maintenance completely. Let's now see what the final total is for X and for Y. Uh, so adding up the columns to X, 70,000 plus 10,000. 8550, 4716. And so there we are, that's the repeated distribution approach. Uh, but I said at the beginning, there are two ways you can get the answer here. Uh, and I'm about to show you the alternative way using a bit of algebra. But in the exam, you know, practice a few in the exam, it's whichever way you find easiest and fastest. Um, it doesn't matter. We'll end up with exactly the same answer. So let me show you the other way, which some of you might prefer. Same question, but this time using a bit of algebra. Uh, and what I'm going to do is this. I'll let uh, S stand for stores and M equal stand for maintenance. 
Use any symbols you like, you prefer X and Y, use X and Y, but I think it's fairly obvious why I've chosen S for stores and M for maintenance. And I write up two little equations. First of all, for stores, uh, we know that so far the stores are 20,000. Sorry, the stores is S, I do beg your pardon. Uh, we know that from the beginning there's already 20,000 there. But in addition, stores need to be charged with a bit of the maintenance. And how much of maintenance goes to stores? Maintenance, the work done by maintenance, they do 15% of their work for stores. And so we say, okay, stores will be the 20,000 we have plus 15% or 0.15 of the maintenance. And similarly, I write up an equation for maintenance, M. Uh, maintenance, we've already got 15,000, but in addition, there's some of the work done by stores. And how much work does stores do for maintenance? Stores, it's 50% X, 20% of 0.2 of stores goes to maintenance. We've now two equations in two unknowns, S and M. And so you should be aware from school, I think, that we can work out values for S and M. Now, how you do this is your choice. All I'll do is this. Let's take that first equation, S equals, it's 20,000 plus 0.15 times, well, it's times M, but I've got an equation here for M. M is 15,000 plus 0 0.20s. Now if I multiply everything in the second, um, in, in the brackets by 0 0.15, 0 0.15 times 15,000 is 2250. 0 0.15 times 0.2 of S is 0 0.03S. If I subtract 0 0.03S from both sides, well 1S minus 0 0.03S is 0.97S is equal to 20,000 plus 2250, 22,250. And so S finally 22,250 divided by 0.97 is 22,938. And of course, having got a figure for S, we can now get a figure for M. Because if you look back, I wrote an equation for M. 15,000 plus point. 2 of S. Well, now we know S is 22,398. 22,938. I hope that was right. Yeah, 938. What do I get for M? Nineteen five eight eight. Now we're not there yet, I'm afraid, but having got values for S and M, watch what we do now. Remember that what I want to know is the total overhead for each of the production departments, X and Y. And watch me carefully here, because what we do is we take what we've already got, Remembering the question, they'd already allocated 70,000 to X and 30,000 to Y. But we now add on a bit for stores and a bit for maintenance. And this is the bit to watch and be careful. To stores, stores, if you look at the question, they do 50% of their work for X. 
And so we take 50% of the figure I've calculated for stores of 22,938. 50% of 22,938 is 11,469. And similarly, still on stores, they do 40, uh, sorry, 30% of their work for Y. So 30% of 22,938 to Y we give 6881. And finally, do the same sort of thing for maintenance. Maintenance, 45% of their work is for X. We take 40% of the figure we've calculated of 19588, which gives us 8815. Uh, and finally for uh, Y, maintenance, 40% is for Y. 40% of 19588 is 7835. Now we add up and get the final figures. So the total of X, I'm always doing this, sorry, it was 70,000, not 7. But 70,000 plus 11469. 8815 is 90,284. And finally, why 30,000? And I said at the beginning, either way I'll give the same answer, so I better check. 9284, 44, yeah. We get exactly the same answer, so it doesn't matter which way you're using the exam. Uh, but practice, I mean, here it's taken me a while for both of them because I was talking through them. If I wasn't talking, it can be very quick. So do a few and decide which you prefer, you know, which you find easiest to remember and quickest. Again, it doesn't matter which way you use. Uh, before any of you start um, typing in questions on the forums, um, you can never be asked a question with more than two service departments. You can't have three service departments all working for each other. Uh, obviously, in real life you could, but not in the exam. Uh, in the exam, if they're doing work for each other as they are here, uh, you'd only be asked uh, for two departments. So there we are. So it's been quite a long session on that chapter, but we've now finished with overheads. <laughs>